Trump has done an incredible job with showing just how terrible the elites in Hollywood really are over these past eight years. But all of that just hit a whole new level over this past week with what happened at the rally where someone tried to take the life of Trump. And now we have seen the mask slipping off even further on a lot of these Hollywood celebrities showing just how truly not just terrible, okay, not just corrupt, but how evil the hearts of these people are. And today we we have Barbara Streisand who is joining the ranks of some of the most vile people that we have seen in Hollywood talking about what happened at the rally last weekend. So we're going to be jumping into what she has to say here today. It is absolutely disgusting and honestly, I'm not surprised, okay? She absolutely hates Trump and just remember, these people hate Trump because really they hate you. And this is something I always thought was truly incredible, something that uh, Trump tweeted out once, where he said, they're not trying to go after me, they're trying to go after you, I just happen to be in the way, something like that. And he is 100% correct, Trump is standing up for people like us, okay, and they absolutely hate that with a burning passion. So, now today we're going to be jumping to what Barbara Streisand says here. Uh, Barbara Streisand floated her cockeyed karmic theory in an ex post this week, asserting that the would be uh, person who tried to take out Trump was frequently bull bullied at school and was therefore motivated to take out bully Trump. Even though apparently there have been reports that this person also was a bully in school as well. So just keep that in mind. But of course, that doesn't really fit the narrative. So they're just going to pretend like none of that has been reported. But this is what Barbara Streisand decided to say. Crooks was a registered Republican, even though he was registered as a Republican, literally like right before this whole uh, attempt on Trump's life. But you know, that's just a little detail that we will ignore. But as it has been reported, he was bullied a lot in school. And uh, he was also a bully as well. Just keep that in mind. But of course, that also doesn't fit the narrative. Trump has always has been branded to be a bully. Maybe that's what motivated him. So really what she is saying is that Trump deserves everything that happened last weekend and he brought it on himself. The only people that Trump has bullied, bullied over the past eight years are the people who have continued to lie to us for years and years and years. The media, celebrities, all of the elites. Those are the people that Trump has bullied. And that's what she means by this. She, that, this, this shows you exactly why elites hate Trump. Because he fights back against them. Trump has hardly ever, if, if ever, has said anything that could be counted as bullying against the people of America. People like you. People like me. The people that the elites would consider common folk. Peasants. He has never said anything hateful towards us. It is only the elites, and that is what they absolutely hate. And yes, she has been receiving an insane amount of backlash after what she said here, and rightfully so, because this is absolutely disgusting. Or maybe this is what motivated him, and this video shows just uh, a minute and a half of all of the disgusting things that these people have been saying about Trump for years. You are utterly disgusting. The, the, uh, the attempt on President Trump has beyond any doubt brought out the best in people as well as the worst in people. And that is 100% correct. And it goes on and on and on. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.